Hi everyone, have you just installed the sleek and smooth Linux Mint 21.3? Uh, but now what? Well, don't worry because we got you covered. In this video, we will walk you through some essential things to do right after installing Linux Mint 21.3 to ensure a smooth and enjoyable experience. You will learn how to update your system, get the right drivers and some must-have software to make your Linux Mint journey a breeze. So, without wasting more time, let's jump right in. First thing first, after installing Linux Mint, it's crucial to ensure your system is up to date. Why? Well, updating your system is ensure you have latest security fixes, performance improvement and new features. Uh, so, open this update manager and click on OK. So, I'm gonna click on apply the updates and you can ignore the mirrors here and enter your password and hit enter. Guys, uh, depend on the number and the size of the update, this process might take few minutes. So, I'm going to fast forward the video. After the updates are successfully installed, it's a good practice to reboot your system to ensure that all the changes take effect. Let's go ahead and do that. Now let's ensure your system is backed up and ready for any unseen emergencies. We will be using Timeshift for this. This is a powerful tool that allows you to restore your system quickly. If something goes wrong with your computer, uh, you have a copy of your files that you can restore it later. Here you can see it is estimating uh, the uh, size of the uh, system. So wait for it and here we have. Now it is recommended to configure Timeshift to store its snapshot on a separate dedicated hard disk partition. I don't have any other hard disk so I am going to select uh, my SSD. Now we have uh, snapshot levels. Guys you can select uh, daily, hourly, uh, monthly but I recommend for the weekly. And uh, choose keep to 2 and click on next. Now we have options to include all the files, exclude uh, only 10 files or include all the files in the backup so uh, but I recommend uh, for the include all files so uh, I'm going to select all files and click on next now once it's done click on finish so here we have now we have option to create a backup so click on create now it is estimating the file size and the and it is creating the snapshot uh, guys it will take time but I am not gonna create a backup now so I am gonna click on cancel now we have an option to restore once you create a backup you can restore it from here or you can browse it uh, from the browse option now to optimize your system performance especially on computer with lower RAM adjusting the swappiness value is crucial Let's walk through the process of decreasing the swappiness value to improve your system responsiveness. So open your terminal and run this command uh, to check the current uh, swappiness value. So as you can see uh, the swappiness value is 60 for now. Now we are gonna uh, decrease it. So run this command uh, to open the uh, configuration file. Uh, so hit enter. Once the text file is open, scroll to the bottom and add the following lines. Here we go, uh, just paste this line, vm.swappiness equal to 25. Uh, this line override the default swappiness value and set it to 25, which is more suitable for desktop use. Now, once you're done, click on save. And now you can close this. Now, after making changes to this uh, configuration file, it's essential to reboot your computer. Uh, so I'm going to reboot my computer. Once the computer has restarted, open a terminal window again and enter the following command to check the swappiness value. Here as you can see swappiness value is now updated to 25. By decreasing the swappiness value you will notice improved system performance especially on computer with limited RAM. Now we are diving into the essential topic for SSD user for Linux Mint. Optimizing your SSD performance for a long run. Think of Trim as a housekeeping tool for your SSD. It helps clear out unused data blocks, making space for new data and keeping your drive running smoothly. Now in the terminal, uh, run this command uh, to create a directory for trim. This command will create a fstrim directory. 
directory is not created now we need to create a configuration file so run this command sudo touch and override configuration file and hit enter file is now created let's open it up to open this uh, configuration file run this command and hit enter now uh, we need to paste uh, some commands uh, let me paste it here we go on calendar equal to daily uh, go to file and click on save now you can close this now once you done this reboot your system once your system is rebooted open the terminal again and uh, run this command uh, system ctl cat fs stream to timer and hit enter as you can see uh, changes are not done from weekly to daily you have probably installed full multimedia support during the installation of linux mint by taking the checkbox for install multimedia codecs but if you didn't you can do it now so open the uh, multimedia codecs now here uh, click on install now it is updating uh, so guys uh, this process might take quite a while i'm going to fast forward it this entry is present only when you have not installed full multimedia support after installing it this menu will disappear let's check it now so yes menu is not uh, multimedia menu is not here now so it's mean our uh, multimedia drivers are not installed install additional drivers if there are some additional drivers available for system then uh, this app will show other drivers once you open it it will scan your system for hardware and list any available drivers here as you can see we have a list of drivers but here i am going to select the recommended one and click on apply changes uh, enter your password and hit enter first it will download a driver file and install it automatically this is a time taking process so i am going to fast forward it in case if your system has all the drivers up to date then it will show a screen like this in my case we had an update for drivers so we that's why we had a list of available drivers once the drivers are installed restart the system now or you can restart it later it's time to install some useful tool and add an extra media player to enhance your linux mint experience we will do this uh, by using this single command so run this command and hit enter this command will install important tool like vlc for media player rar for provide support for certain types of archives and catfish is a super tool for finding files so all the apps are now installed let's check with the vlc so yes vlc is now successfully installed so you can install some additional uh, apps by using single command it's time to install the king of browsers uh, google chrome it is up to you whether you want to install it or use firefox to install google chrome head over to the download link provided in the description below here uh, click on download chrome uh, and select for a debian version and uh, click on accept and install this will uh, download the debian file for the google chrome once the file is downloaded open it and right click on it and uh, click on open with gdb package so now it is loading file so wait for it now uh, click on install package and enter your password and hit enter now google chrome required some other files to use it so click on continue to install these required files and it will install google chrome on your system so wait for it so google chrome is installed on our system let's check it now so yes google chrome is successfully installed into our system to enhance the security of your Linux Mint system, let's enable the firewall. So open the terminal and run this command sudo uw enable. Here uw stands for uncomplicated firewall. Here a firewall is active and enable on your system startup. Now let's uh, check the status of this. Here output is indicating that firewall is active and show the default setting, which is uh, deny incoming traffic and allow outgoing traffic. Now if you ever need to temporarily disable the firewall, you can do this by using single command sudo uw disable and then hit enter. And as you can see, uh, firewall is stopped and disabled on our system.
So there you have it. You have just successfully completed essential things to do right after installing Linux Mint 21.3. We hope this video is helpful for you. If you found it informative, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any question or suggestion for future videos, feel free to leave in the comments below. Thank you for watching. This is Jarvis signing off.